confidence, strength, performance. These are just a few things that Titan Medical Center can help you with. For more information, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Hi, I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we're the owners and founders of Titan Medical Center. So our positions are, we're the owners, we're also the operators, right? So everything from day to day, we run everything from top to bottom. All internally, everything from top to bottom. And we are here every day inside the business, running it for the past decade. The best part about Titan Medical Center, uh, from my opinion, because I'm sure Sharice is going to have hers, um, is really going to see the patient satisfaction. That's priceless. When somebody writes you or they call in or they text you and say, you guys have changed my life, that's something that, that, that feeling that you just can't go out and you can't get anywhere. You've literally helped somebody change your life so dramatically that they've wrote and told you this and their life is better for it. Whether they're healthier, whether their relationship's better, overall just feel amazing. That, that is something that really, really hits home with me, and I think that's the best part of being a part of Titan Medical Center. Well, Titan Medical Center for me, basically, I've been in the medical field for, we're going about 17 years now. So prior to us opening this clinic, I was in the medical field. So I worked in dialysis, I've seen a lot of people sick and they don't feel good, or they weren't getting what they wanted out of their providers and their doctors. They weren't getting enough time with the doctors, they didn't get their issues addressed. So. I saw that there is something that we can provide to people that they're asking after we're going into the rooms and they're telling us, hey, listen, I didn't get to talk to the doctor. I'm like, okay, well, I understand. He has 45 patients to see. So this was our time to be able to change this, knowing that this was going to preventative medicine. And you know, we're so used to fixing everything after it's broken. And now I've got to see a whole different light of the medical field where you can actually prevent it from happening, which is huge, especially when you've seen all these people sick for so long, you're so used to seeing sick and then fix it versus trying to prevent it from even happening. So for me personally, that's been a really big game changer in my life because that's all I knew before we opened the business. Some of our most favorite patient responses, uh, and there's a lot of them, trust me. Some of mine, and I'll you say yours, um, you've changed my life. That one really sticks with me, right? Um, you saved my relationship. Well, that's a big one. That's another big one. Um, I've lost X amount of weight that I could never lose before. That's another big one. Uh, and, and there's a lot of different ones. You help me better with sleep. I mean, and on and on and on about you I have to agree with him on all of those absolutely and that's a given because we're that's what we're supposed to do here at Titan Medical right it's to make you feel better look better perform better be healthier that's our job it's to be expected now what gets the best of me is when people say that we provide the best customer service and the reason that hits home for me is because we put in so much work and so much effort here at Titan all of us do me John all of the staff members, and we do after hours, we do weekends, we respond to text messages, emails, whatever we need to do, make sure we're on it, whatever we need to do to make sure that you're taken care of. So when somebody says you guys have the best customer service hands down, it's rewarding to me knowing that we're doing what we should be doing. So that's probably one of the best things for me personally. I agree. 
What are our future goals with Titan Medical Center? So being in this almost 10 years, all right, uh, we've grown exponentially every year. So it's a blessing for that and thank you for all the support. For us, it's really taking Titan Medical Center to the next level. That's what it's always about, progression. Uh, never regressing, never staying in place, but always making things bigger and better, right? So hopefully more locations, more Titan Medical Center therapies, uh, more clothing lines to come, a lot of different things, I, I guess. I just want Titan Medical Center in overall to take over and kill it. <laughs> I have to agree again with everything he says. Um, I would say in my personal opinion, obviously, I definitely want to have the multiple locations. However, because we put so much hard work and effort into our brand and our reputation, which is something you can't purchase, it's very important that whoever is going to be doing these jobs and running these different clinics, that they are running it to the standard that we upkeep. So that's the biggest one to me. And as long as I can find the people to do it, then I'm all on board for it. That's right. It's always <laughs> quality over quantity in anything you do. I'm here once again, Poppy Page, getting my dose of my IV from Titan Medical Center. Um, this is just kind of like my thing to keep me going. Uh, working all week, working hard. I overexhaust myself a lot, just working. <laughs> so this is what I need to kind of give me all my vitamins, make sure that everything's in my system that I need to keep me going, keep me calm, keep me energized. It takes an hour, sit here, relax, Got my Netflix and I'm good to go. My name is Jonathan Price. I'm currently a vice president with Fitness International, better known as LA Fitness and our new brand is Sporta. Um, I'm very passionate about fitness. I've been doing it in my lifestyle for about 20 years. Um, so I love being in the industry and I love what I do. I actually was with another hormone replacement clinic and uh, I wasn't feeling so good. My uh, medicines weren't coming in on time. I could tell that there was a type of imbalance with how I was feeling, low energy, um, and I knew something was off. So I came over to Titan Medical and, and I immediately noticed a huge customer service difference. Uh, everything was on point, all my shipments were on time. There was never a point where I didn't have my medication to where I felt off balance. So uh, since being with Titan, energy levels through the roof. People ask me all the time, how do you do so much uh, in such a little amount of time? It's because I always have energy. I feel great. Um, no hormone imbalances. I'm always steady, freddy, and consistent. So uh, yeah, since being with Titan Medical, it's definitely been a game changer and a life changer uh, for me and my family. You know, I've known John and Cherise for many, many years uh, since I was uh, in middle school and uh, as a kid, and uh, they're like family to me. And as I was with another hormone replacement clinic, I knew that I was having some issues and some off balances. I didn't know if it was the right thing for me. Uh, so I ended up calling them. And sure enough, I ended up finding out that that's not the way that this whole thing works. And uh, through their expertise, they brought me aboard and uh, I became a Titan Medical patient. And they found out some actual imbalances with my cholesterol, uh, with my hemoglobin. Um, I noticed my testosterone levels weren't exactly consistent with what I thought they were. So all in all, just a um, very professional company. Uh, and I feel great ever since I've had my blood work done and my balances are back on point. So when I got with Titan Medical, uh, we immediately did blood work. Um, I found a lot of things that I didn't know were off in my body. Uh, first thing was hemoglobin and iron. Um, I knew my diet had a lot to contribute to that, but I've never had blood work done before like that uh, or as in depth as I did with my past companies. 
So uh, with that being said, I knew I needed to donate blood to level out my hemoglobin. I felt so much more energy right away. I didn't feel sluggish. I wasn't heavy of breathing. Uh, cholesterol was off and that's not something that really typically runs in my family. So again, diet, um, I cleaned that up. Cholesterol levels came back down and uh, definitely felt a lot healthier because of that reason. And lastly, you know, I knew there was always an issue with being prior military and the stress levels we go through my testosterone uh, tended to be a little bit lower than normal. So with that being regulated, I honestly feel like I'm 18 again on top of the world. I got energy to play sports, run around with my kids, and uh, the blood work was definitely the difference of finding and knowing what's going on inside my body. So the Titan therapies that I personally use and love is number one is Hercules Potion. That stuff is, is incredible. Better than any pre-workout out there on the market that you can get from a, a local supplement shop. Uh, the pump is unreal, by the way. Uh, Titan Complete, I love it. It's my vitamin source every morning, making sure I'm getting everything in, uh, charging up the machine the right way. And then I also do MK677. Personally for me, I have trouble eating. The MK677 I've really noticed increases my appetite. Um, that's obviously refueling my body, healing my body, getting a lot more nutrients to my body. And it's really regulated out my hunger levels and of course my growth levels. And I gotta say that stuff's incredible. How do I feel now? Well, I gotta say from beginning to end, uh, it's night and day. To where I am now from several years ago when I started with Titan, uh, it's a dramatic difference. Um, I'm a family guy, I got five kids. I just, me and my significant other just had a brand new baby five weeks old and I gotta have energy. I work full time, uh, I actually work in Orlando so I'm driving every day, um, four hour drive, family man, spending time with the family, barely having the weekends off. I gotta say Titan Medical keeps my life in check. It gives me everything that I need to really have that energy, that fuel, uh, even motivation. Every morning I get up I'm feeling great and it just really kickstarts my day the right way and every night I sleep great which wasn't happening before so I gotta say I feel awesome. You know, I gotta say about the Titan Medical Provider Services is unmatched. I, I've been with other clinics before in hormone replacement therapy clinics and the night and day difference of how I was treated with them versus Titan, uh, Titan treats you like a family member. The coolest thing that I love is I got calls throughout the month just checking in to see how I'm feeling, not to try to get me to order something else or to push another you know, therapy. They were calling just to see, hey, how are you feeling? Is everything going okay? And that made me feel important and special. Um, I really love the staff here. Whenever I come in for blood work, everything is top notch. Um, you're greeted right at the front door. The, the doctors and physicians in the back are incredible. Um, in and out, but very professional and they definitely take great care of you. Um, I just want to say as a Titan medical patient, I am incredibly happy. Um, their services are great. Uh, I'll never go to another company just because I, I'm a true believer in what they stand for and what they represent. Uh, when they say you're a family, when you're a patient, it is true. Uh, I've been with them as friends for over 20 years as a patient for about 11 and uh, in the family, I mean, it's a great place to be, man. You definitely want to get started with them and they're going to take great care of you. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. 
and I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So, guys, if you guys don't know what's going on out there, it's kind of crazy. Everybody's sick. And everybody's getting over COVID or the flu or whatever oh, they've got. Oh, for goodness gracious. If you don't know what's going on out there, <laughs> I don't know where you're living. I mean, even if you were living in a, under a shell in, like, Alaska in a cave... You would probably still know what's going on. Yeah. Seriously. Because it's like, this has been, it's been a little crazy. Yeah. It, it's definitely been nuts. Uh, you know, third year going into this this COVID pandemic thing. Um, obviously, you know, if you've been following us through these last three years, you know that, you know, me and Sharice both caught COVID in 2020, where I was totally asymptomatic and Sharice was in the ICU. Yeah. Bad luck. So it obviously affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Now, after that, we're just sharing our experience on this. Um, so other people might have different experiences, you know, that's what is crazy about this whole thing. Right. But, so this AKA don't take this as a political episode. Yeah. This is not a political episode <laughs> let's whatsoever. Get, let's put that, let, that well, let's um, go ahead and put that warning in here now. Yeah. This is not a political episode and it's specifically our personal experience yes. and our, our opinion on our personal yes. experience. Yeah. So, I mean, with this, this first run, I mean, basically, you know, I had the antibodies for three months, tested through blood work, through lab corp, that we do here at Titan Medical Center. And Sharice had hers for over a year and a half. Wow. Okay, a long time, where people were only supposed to have it for three to six months. Um, and she obviously had a big viral load the first time, and that's why she probably had the antibodies for such a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, got through the first one, thank God. Um, second one was Delta or these other variants that were out there. We didn't catch that. We we're pretty precautious of what was going on. Um, but this one, this Omicron that just came around um, these last couple of weeks, me and Sharice caught pretty bad. Um, you know, and my son and my dad, too, yeah. as well, who's... High risk. High risk. Super high risk. Double vaccinated, boosted, the whole nine, and is sicker than me and Sharice got. So, but yeah. this one kind of stuck around. We kind of got like the flu-like symptoms, it's congestion. It was, it's lingering. We call it, I, I want to call it like the lingering COVID version. Yeah. You know, it's, it wasn't like, you know, well, we, well, let's not talk about my experience because mine was just completely different than right. anyone else's. That was just like the one out of the one million that got it the way I did. But, um, you know, it's like a lingering type deal, right? So it's like a sinus, almost like a sinus infection. Yeah flu, body ache, yeah. tired, Chills. still got the foggy brain, fevers, yeah, fevers you know, it just, and you know, the crazy thing is, it's like, you know, yeah, okay, you can take, you know, you could probably take a prednisone pack, you know, bring down some of the inflammation, and you could probably take a Z pack, and you know, just to be precautious, but ultimately, it's like, literally, you can't do anything about it yeah. outside of taking your immune boosters. Yeah. I swear to you not. I swear by them now. I take them every single night. Ask John. I have them lined up in my little case. I have never had a little pill case before that said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But now I do just to remember to take my vitamin C, my zinc, and my vitamin D yeah. to make sure that I don't miss, I don't skip a beat, like at all. And also I take the injectable versions as well. Right. So, you know, it's, it's just, I think it's really important that at right, right this second, that you're focusing more on like taking care of your body to like almost as if this sounds crazy, but I'm it's coming from me, but you know, almost as if you're putting yourself like making the biggest shield for your body that you can or building your machine, your machine because your body's a machine, right? Yeah. Building the machine to fight off. Cause guys, let's be realistic. This is not the last one. No. It's not. Next, you're going to have Sally's come in next, and then, you know, Bobo the Clown's next version. And it's just, it's going to keep mutating, and it's just going to keep coming. So it's like, what do you do to protect yourself from getting as sick next time? Or right. what can you do, you know, to take care of yourself the most? And outside of, you know, like I said, taking the vitamins, eating right, of course, exercising a little bit, even if it's not, you don't have to go hardcore in the gym, you know, just a walk around the block, a brisk walk around the block won't kill you, you know, take a, take your dog with you or your kid or something, you know, um, and my, the biggest one guys I've, I've had to live by it is sleep. Yeah. Sleep's another big one. Like sleep is your body important. recovers when it sleeps, revitalizes itself, rejuvenates itself. So 
it's really, really key. And, you know, if one thing this has taught us in the last three years, if you were not on the health tip, it is to be healthier, right? To have a healthier lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, to make sure that you are having some sort of activity, right? You're eating correctly, you're eating good foods for your body. Um, and obviously you're getting sleep. That's a big one after that, you yeah. know? And some people out there have immunocompromised systems or they have, you know, different health risks or different health issues that are putting them at a higher risk to have, you know, more of a bad effect with COVID. Um, but the, the big thing about it is, and, and the crazy thing about it is, is that even if you're healthy, you can catch this and you can still be hospitalized or get yeah. really, really sick. Yeah. You know, a lot of people out there think, you know, like, wow, like, you know, you guys are really, really healthy looking, you're in shape and everything like that. So I'm surprised that, you know, when they hear Sharice's story that that happened to you, you know, because they're like, oh, doesn't that just happen to people that are overweight or have really bad health or something like that? And no, it's just it's really crazy. Dialogue. So, I mean, it, it's... It's yeah, listen, guys. I'll be honest. I'll listen. Affecting people. I'll be honest with you guys. My first round of COVID, right? I, I was beating myself down, right? I was staying up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning, getting work done. I mean, because listen, I'm a workaholic. At least I can admit it. But I'm a workaholic. I like to work, right? So it is what it is. And I was just work, 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 and just do what I gotta do. But sleep was the last thing for me because my 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 body was last on the list. I had to take care of. Peter, take care of John, make sure that the business is good, take care of all the girls in the business. And as long as all that stuff was good, then, you know, we were good. But you got to put yourself, you got you to gotta take care of yourself. Yeah. Health is number one priority. I, we think we see it all the time. And it's really true because without your health, you're not taking care of anybody. You're not doing your job. You're like literally You're not bed. able to go out and have fun or yeah. do whatever you want to do, your hobbies and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's really important to put your health as number one priority because without it, you're not being able to do anything, right? And we always hit on that note, but... I think it's more of a serious note or people should take it more serious and prioritize it because, you know, with this all coming around, you're going to want to do that. You know, whether you're vaccinated or boosted or not, you know, you're unvaccinated, whatever it is, you can still catch this. You can still transmit this. And obviously we're seeing people getting hospitalized and all these different things that have to go through. Um, and it's really putting a damper on everything from daily life to our economy and everything like that. So. You know, it's just really important, you know, if you're not getting into a healthy lifestyle, I think this is the time to really set yourself up and say, listen, 2022, I'm going to start myself off and start being healthy. And it's something that you don't have to just shock yourself. With, yeah. Right? You, you can work just, your way in. You don't have to just drop everything and, and go a million miles an Never hour. Never eat a French fry again. You know, it's not like that. But it, it's something that you should definitely start leaning into. And, you know, you have to start creating these good habits. Because, you know, you can create good habits or you can create bad habits. And whatever you keep doing consistently, I tell my son this all the time, I'm like, listen, the way that you talk, if you keep talking like this over and over and over, you say dumb things over and over and over, <laughs> it's, you're automatically just going to say it and blur it out because you're training yourself to do this. Right. So it's exactly like a healthy lifestyle, but you need to train yourself to do the good things. And once you start training yourself and be consistent on these things, that's when you're really going to see the upside of it and the positive result. So, you know, with this, you know, do whatever you need to do as far as protecting yourself, protecting your family from hopefully not getting this one thing. If you haven't got this, God bless you, mm. you know, because there are some people out there that haven't caught COVID, not, not any of the strands. I feel like you're eventually going to get it at some so point. So hopefully you don't, <laughs> right? So, you know, whatever it takes to not get it, you know, we're all for, you know, like I said, this is not a political thing. So if you want to mask up, mask up, you want to get vaccinated, double vaccinated, boosted, do it, right? If you think that you need that, then do it. And guys, listen, couple tip for our Cupid's Corner, right? Couple tip. So if you guys are sick, right, try to take care of each other, you yeah. know? Like, try to be extra nice to each other. Yeah. And you know what's funny is sometimes it'll stagger. Like, one person might get a little sicker, and they, they feel sick like a day or two, and then the next person gets sicker, you know, right after that. So, you know, don't always usually get sick at the right exact same time where you're both like, ah. So, like, try to use the two-day difference if that's what it is, two, three, four, five days, whatever. And, like, take take extra good care. Of, you know, like, you know, give a couple a couple rubs, you know, maybe offer some tissues. Hot bath. Hot bath. Listen, John is really good about that. You know, what he'll do is he gets these vapors, and they're awesome. Yeah. And he puts them, he's like, you know, obviously if I'm stuffy or whatever, he'll be like, you know, he'll start the shower for me because he's an amazing husband and you know put the vapors in there for me and be like you know just go step in there you know just get it all out and, you know and suck in all the vapors where you can't breathe and i'm like ah my eyes are burning but it was honestly i get out and then i feel like a million times better yeah. so 
I thank him for that. But it's like the little things, I always say this in every episode too, it's like the little things that count and, you know, the little tiny gestures or things or like, you know, pick up their plate for them, take it downstairs, bring up their food for them, whatever they need, you know, throw an extra blanket on them that's a little warm, make yeah. them cozy. Yeah. It's guys, it's like the stupidest things that like do- doesn't even cost any money, no. you know, because somebody be like, oh, you don't have any money, can't do anything for my, for my man or for my girl. It doesn't work that way. Like, right. just think. Right. That's another big thing. So listen, protect yourself too as well or be preventative. So even if you haven't caught this or you did, let's say, right? If you did this, you're feeling really sick or you're feeling really tired and aching, all that stuff, give your body some extra pep in its step. Um, You know, this is where, you know, either you're taking oral vitamin C or vitamin D and stuff like that, or you can get injectable stuff like that from us, from Type Medical Center. Um, which is going to be a higher retention as far as that goes in your body. You're going to get more of it, and it's probably going to help you a lot faster, Mm -hmm. okay? I'm not going to say guaranteed or anything like that because people are really sensitive about this. Hey, listen, I'll I'll throw it out there, and this is a true fact. I've had patients write me in and say that the Titan Complete and the tri-immunity between those two and glutathione has helped them immensely get through this this whole thing. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from the patients. So I'm just repeating what the patients are telling me. Yeah. So, I mean, take it for what it's worth. Yeah. So it's, it's really good stuff as far as that goes. The therapies will help, especially with some of these symptoms that you guys are having out there. And you guys want to get over them because the whole thing is just treating the symptoms. Yeah. There's nothing that's going to cure COVID out there. Okay. There's nothing that cures COVID. Not yet, anyway. You know, even vaccines. <laughs> they don't cure COVID. Originally, you know, people were going to get the vaccine, so they didn't catch COVID. And then the vaccines were good enough. So you don't get hospitalized. And now people are getting that too as well. Or you won't be able to transmit it. Now people are transmitting it like that. So No rhyme to reason. There, there's no rhyme to reason to this. Nobody really knows what's going on as far as that goes. I, I mean, in my mind, I think that because I listen to all the information out there. I've listened to all these different doctors, seen all these different things. And there's so much, so much mixed, mixed signals as far mixed as what you should do, what yeah. you should not do, what we should do mask-wise, not mask-wise. Now it's at 95 masks, not cloth masks. So there's just a lot of different things out there, right? Put a bag over your head. You're like, what do I do and what do I believe? Just put a bag over your head. Listen, do... Cut out the eyes. Yeah. (laughs) Do do what your your body needs, right? And we know that if you supplement some of these different things, that your body is going to respond to them and it's going to help boost your immune system. Antioxidants are a big thing. So just remember this and, and take it for what it is, right? And if you haven't been doing these things, now's the time. Absolutely. Now is your time. So at this point, you guys can go forth and you guys can have a healthy and safe 2022 year. And hopefully we'll get through this together. Right? Absolutely. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. Make sure you guys, if you guys miss it, DVR it. Or you guys can catch all this, this episode and more episodes on our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center. You'll see this video and a whole bunch of other great ones. I promise you, if you want to look at all the therapies, that they're on there too. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. See you then.